Good morning. I'm here today to explain your assignment, which is the cycles activity on Google Slides. So it's, as it says uh, for this assignment, you will use the Google Slides to answer the questions on each slide. So you will use your notes on cycles that you did yesterday, um, and then you'll turn it in once you are finished. So this is a, a pretty cool activity. I thought it was appropriate for you guys. Um, so these are the three major cycles. So you have the water cycle, the carbon cycle, and the nitrogen cycle. Um, so as you can see, um, in this first slide, this is the water cycle. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop these little boxes, as it says. Um, so let's do here. We'll do transpiration. Okay, so you're going to click on transpiration. If you recall from yesterday, transpiration is the idea or concept of evaporation from plants. So I'm going to find my plants and I'm going to do it right there because that is transpiration. Okay, so then you'll kind of continue um, and go through and do those respective boxes. After you do the water cycle, um, there's a series of questions. In this case, there's six different questions. If you look off to the side, I actually gave you some answer choices to help you as well, kind of like a little word bank. So it says, number one, water can be returned to the atmosphere by a process known as what? So the correct answer is evaporation. So you can uh, drag and drop, or you can kind of just double click and write in your answer of evaporation. Okay, so that's the water cycle. Next is going to be the carbon cycle. So you can kind of see your four options. You have respiration, combustion, photosynthesis, and fossil fuels. Okay, so that's your carbon cycle. And then along with that, again, you have another series of questions. So there are four, uh, there's four mandatory and five, uh, but five in total questions. So it says the carbon containing molecule found in the atmosphere that is often released by respiration is called what? Um, so you should know that as carbon dioxide. So you can put that, um, type it in or drag and drop. The last uh, cycle that we're going to cover is probably the most complex cycle, and that's called the nitrogen cycle. Um, so this is your, again, your another, another little visual. If you actually open up your Google slides from yesterday, or I'm going to just bring it up right here, you can type into Google, Whoop, Google. Um, you can type in the nitrogen cycle. And then after you do the nitrogen cycle, I'll just go to images. It's probably a little bit, very similar to this. Um, but you can kind of see a bunch of, you know, graphics or infographics. Um, so you can kind of see this one. Oh, that looks very similar. All right. So then you can kind of go through um, and you can kind of uh, use that as a guide for you to get stuck because a lot of times uh, students get stuck on this one. So that's a really good um, um, help or tool. Um, and then again, uh, with the, the graphic, uh, you have a couple fill in the blank. Some of them are, I already gave you some of the answers. One, two, three, I gave them to you, but you have to fill in those three there. Um, and again, that last one I, I already did for you, but it's important to, to kind of know. Um, big picture idea with the nitrogen circle is that the nitrogen that is most abundant on our planet is not usable to us, right? So we need to depend on other organisms like bacteria um, and mushrooms and stuff like that for them to, to fix it for us so that we can consume it in our diets. Okay, so that's um, your assignment for today. Whenever you finish it, you can hit turn in um, and I will give you credit for that. Okay, any questions along the way or if you get stuck, please feel free to reach out. We're always here to help.